This Titan Arc build claps everything. Now I've seen some crazy builds in the past, but this build takes Arc Titans to the next level. With this build updated for Lightfall's 2.0 build crafting system, we'll be using the Thunderclap melee ability to clap enemies so hard that they just get obliterated, regardless of the activity and difficulty that you're going into. You're gonna get faster supers, and when I say faster supers, I mean literally insanely fast supers, but this does rely on having ads around to kill, so as long as you've got a full room of ads, you're good. But on top of this, you'll be almost unkillable by having health on every melee kill. You'll trigger health regen, generate orbs, have increased DPS, infinite heavy ammo, volatile rounds, infinite arc abilities, and let's just say with this build, you'll become a true thunder god. Now the last titan arc build I made was the thunder crash specific build, and although we're still using the thunder crash, we won't have that increased damage with it like the previous build, as we were using the curious of the fallen star, but since we're getting supers like 5 times quicker, you'll make up for that lost damage anyway, so you could just swap the exotics out mid game if you really wanted to. But for this build, we're going to be going the ability route, so we'll have infinite abilities most of the time, while getting that super insanely fast, using the school for exotic. It's just such an amazing build that you need to start using this season. Now Titans have had a lot of builds nerfed lately, and nowhere near competes against some of the top builds from other classes, which is why if you like this build today, then you might like some of my other builds that I've made from this season, so feel free to check out the full season 20 build playlist down below, because you might just find your new best build, as we do cover these every season. But with this build today, we're going to become a true thunder god just clapping everything with our thunderclap melee. Now you don't have to use the thunderclap if you don't want to, but I strongly recommend you do, because the way we have this build set up, you'll get that ability back on every Every single kill and it just does a fantastic job at killing everything while giving us health and orbs at the same time. And the main reason we're actually using this ability is so that we can kill master minor adds as well because you will be able to charge up that ability to deal more damage whereas the other abilities and the standard punch itself just isn't enough to guarantee you that kill. Now don't get me wrong, sometimes you will mess up and lose that melee charge but with this setup that we have we'll get it back pretty consistently using our other abilities and just chain those on a loop. And we're not even using exotics like Heart of Immerse Light to get that extra energy either. So we'll be using the Skull for Exotic Helmet. And what this does is trigger health regen on Arc mainly kills and restore mainly energy. Now the health regen ain't gonna matter because we'll be getting this anyway from our first aspect called Knockout. Where critically wounding a target or breaking a shield infuses your melee attack with Arc energy. And increases the melee range and damage for a short time. But also defeating targets with our melee attack starts health regen and makes you amplified. So this will be our primary source of getting the health regen to trigger on every single melee kill which is great and then those kills will give us the melee back instantly and the best part about the melee on an arc titan is that you don't even need the powered melee ability for this to work just killing adds in general with the punch will trigger the health regen and generate those orbs it sort of counts like a powered punch but it's not now the most simple way to explain how this build works in all types of content is first use your thunderclap melee ability to kill an ad this will spawn an orb trigger health regen, give you health and increase your ability DPS while also giving you your melee ability straight back. Picking up the orb will give you volatile rounds which you can then use for effective long distance ad clearing and while you're doing that you'll be able to spawn more orbs consistently to keep those volatile rounds active all the time. Now if you mess up with your ability and don't have that melee charge active then you'll just want to run around punching hats to death instead which will work the same way, spawn orbs and so on but you won't be able to kill tougher adds as easily but using the regular punch will speed up the time on getting that ability back faster. And then to speed it up even faster, you can use your grenade to spawn ionic traces and use your thruster to reduce the cooldown of your grenade as well. So it's just a loop of chaining between those abilities, but in a master activity whilst underpowered, you will have to take this build a little slower, so you just want to use that melee when the time is right. You don't want to run around only using the melee, because when you have champs and bosses around, you just ain't surviving that, you will die. Now we're using the thruster class ability because this does have a shorter cooldown, and we will be using this to help our other abilities and give them back quicker using some mods like the bomber in the class armor. So we have three of these and what these will do is give us grenade energy every time we use our class ability and that grenade we have is the pulse grenade. The main reason I'm using a pulse one is because the next aspect touch of thunder will enhance those grenades and for the pulse grenade it will create ionic traces as it damages targets and increases the damage over time and those ionic traces that spawn and track to us will give us ability energy and these are pretty good it will give us a lot of energy consistently which will keep 
that pulse grenade up whenever we need it. And on the rare chance that we don't have one, we'll use our class ability to get more energy instead. But we'll also be using the innovation mod in the legs to reduce the cooldown when picking up an orb. I do have an orbs of restoration as well, which will just give us more energy to our ability that has the least energy. And then another mod that just gives us health as well. Now we'll get those orbs to spawn by using the heavy handed mod in the arms. This will spawn orbs on every melee kill for us, so we'll always have orbs. But if you're not running around punching ads in the face, then we'll spawn them by a void weapon instead, using the void cypher mod in the helmet. I recommend using this machine gun here as it's great for ad clearing. You get this from the Deep Stone Crypt Raid final boss encounter and this will be buffed by our volatile rounds too so that it will give us anti-barrier rounds when we have volatile rounds active. So we'll take advantage of the volatile flow mod in the artifact to get that by picking up orbs and even better, killing yellow bar adds with the same weapon using the bricks from beyond perk will give us heavy ammo often too. So it's pretty much infinite heavy ammo especially in end game content where you have a lot more yellow bar adds. Now we're going to take this build even further by using arc fragments. So we'll have the spark of shock so that we can jolt targets with our grenades. This will also stun overloads too which is great. We'll also buff that grenade even further using the spark of magnitude. And then we'll use the spark of resistance so that we can survive more damage when being surrounded. But also spark of iron so we get more ionic traces when we defeat those enemies with our grenades. So you can just see how all this comes together to just loop between the abilities over and over. As for the mods, we do have two hands on mods in the helmet for extra super energy on melee kills. This is a must have for this build for faster supers. The other two mods we didn't mention in the arms were impact induction and focus in strike which will just give us more ability energy when causing damage with our melee which we'll do all the time anyway right. So if we just used our pulse grenade and thruster then using our melee will help get them back quicker. And then if we just lost our melee using those abilities will get us our melee back quicker as well. The last thing we have is in the chest armor which is just our damage resist mods which you can swap to suit your preference. So we are making good use of all our mods and class aspects and fragments with that extra bonus on top from the seasonal artifact perks. Now for the exotic I mentioned earlier, if you don't want to use the skill fort or you don't have it then you do have alternatives. They won't be as good with this build but they'll still do a pretty good job and those are the Syntheseps for increased melee damage, the Point Contact Cannon Brace, great for this build as well, the Heart of the Most Light, just a classic exotic for every single build and then the last one is Doom Marchers to chain that melee damage. Now one downside to this build is that it's not great when you're with a team so you kind of want to play solo when using this build because a lot of the time you might go out and throw in a thunderclap melee attack and then find out that your teammate has just killed that ad that you were about to hit and therefore losing that melee ability. And to make the situation even worse, you then throw a pulse grenade in an attempt to get that ability back by ionic traces to find that your teammate yet again kills those adds. And then you just lost both abilities. So I'd stick with using this build when playing solo for any activity, even if that's a legend or master loss sector that you're just farming, because it's a great build, it's fun, but it's not the best build in the entire game in my opinion. But I'd still say it's up there with the top builds in Destiny 2 Lightfall right now, and you guys definitely need to give this one a try. But if it's not arc builds you're looking for then be sure to check out my season 20 build playlist down below where you can find all my latest builds in destiny 2 otherwise guys have a good one and i'll catch you all very soon for the next build peace out guys